This is the title of the poem. And this is the first line. It's as if you were crossing a street for the first time, looking both ways, knowing the drill. The rough and dip of the curb under your shoe. The blurred parade of cars between yourself and the light. What will the next stanza foretell? Pedestrians cross from line to line, some with their arms swinging, some dragging luggage, some realizing that green has gone to yellow and run breathless to the other side. Perhaps a siren is wailing in the distance. Will this continue to the next page? There's always another block to explore, another idea to refine. There's a glimmer of neon in the corner of your eye. This is where it's supposed to get good. You've been walking and watching and taking it in. But there's no map to tell you that you've arrived. I'd like to read a couple of poems from my book, Dismantling the Playground. Stranger on the Road. I first saw him walking on the road, wearing heavy clothes in summer, oiled hair in a ponytail. His hood shadowed his face from the sun, part angel of mercy, part grim reaper. I cannot imagine he has a wife or a place he calls home by choice. He carries his jacket, his only possession as an ailing child its arms stiff and outstretched, reaching in a feverish dream. I have come to dread his appearance, as one learns to fear the broken glass, the darkened stain, the grizzled lump of fur. I have never heard his voice or seen the color of his eyes. Would it be comforting to know he's missing teeth or doesn't wash? Has he grown bitter as I have? at the burgeoning traffic of luxury cars in these towns where trucks and old jalopies once ruled the dusty streets. I don't know where he goes, cannot imagine it, in this paved suburbia of malls and mortgaged farms where row upon row of houses rise up out of the fertile soil. plastic surgery. Something about it smacks of Play-Doh in a child's hands, the pulling and stretching of putty into a web. Then there is the knife itself, skating a silent line of blood along the skin, dividing the body from all it holds. Can years be torn from the flesh like the ragged hem off a skirt? the generous folds under the chin, the pouches cushioning the eyes like velvet pillows under precious stones. Do these deserve hating? The etchings we were born to wear are like maps that lead us back home. Who goes across the continent to leave the familiar face or voice and finds in their own mirror the indelible blueprint? The surgeon's skillful lance cuts deeply into age, failure, hurt, but leaves the soft, malleable self intact. Creeping along the seams of one's life is a child clinging to what it knows, the same small ghost of our past who travels quietly within and trembles at the glint of impermanence. She gets messages, not whispers, not music, no questionable commands to take down presidents or hoist herself up to a ledge and retrace her steps through the air. She gets messages from the delicate powder that resides in flowers, a rasp of wings in the bird baths glimmering water, a subliminal incantation glows from the edges of clouds gathers in heavy fists of rain and glazes 
the stunned faces of her shoes. From the interior of dreams, a tangle of sweet voices vaporize and spiral, move like fragrant smoke through the narrow alleys of her days. Her fingers glow with the heat of captured silences that melts and ices and seeks safe exile in singing islands of paper. <laughs>